Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna learn about divisions. Divisions are just sections where you can have multiple elements grouped. So let me fix this code a little bit. Let's go to our HTML page and we don't need paragraph anymore. Well, at least with that specific ID or a class because we will put them multiple of paragraphs in dedicated division in dedicated section so let me fix this code a bit because it's kind of ugly i want to have everything in a in a one screen well this is a lot anyway okay let me see what's up cool so let me copy paste this couple of times just to have something to play around like four times something like that right so how to create that division well, we're gonna use div tag and we need to open it and close it. <coughs> this is how you open it. And of course, down there, we need to close it. So these divisions are like general borders. And now the thing will not change drastically here. We have just content. But why these divisions are important? Well, you can target them individually through IDs or through classes. So let's use class here like content, something like that. It's totally up to you what you're gonna type here. Content. And now we can target it through CSS. Let me remove this for a body. And here we're gonna substitute A from last tutorial with content. And now we will have these styles these properties and values applied there you go guys so it's very easy to target specific sections of page because assumption is that over time you're gonna have five of them six of them multiple of them for example for navigation for a sidebar for main content for footer for advertising for banners you get the point pretty much you know how websites look these days right so what else here uh, let's create a division for, for example, uh, advertising. For up, up, up here, we're gonna have, for example, Google AdSense or something like that. So we're gonna say that we need division, but this time because that advertising will be unique, like in dimensions, we're gonna use AdSense here. Okay, and of course we're gonna close it because assumption here is that we'll have some kind of banner or JavaScript code that is provided by Google, something like that. And let's just let's just imagine that this <coughs> H1, just imagine that this is ad, some kind of advertising, something like that, advert, and now nothing's gonna happen pretty much because we didn't apply any kind of CSS on that advert. So let's do that through ID, of course. We're gonna say ID with a hash, of course, and I'm gonna use <coughs> color, border color, uh, blue, and no changes here because I don't have border style solid and border width five pixels let's say so let's see what's up uh why this thing oh adsense <laughs> sorry about that adsense that's the target true hash which means id right there you go kind of ugly but it will work okay so let's apply a couple of these things to have uh, to have css kind of unique margin auto and with well sure we can do that well let's actually grab these things and put it here maybe we will have nicer result right now there you go but we have extreme padding or margins here what is the case oh right so margins margins are huge let me fix that okay so what about that border width that's not nice so here we have 20 pixels and up here we will have 20 pixels okay and here we want to have some kind of white differentiation so down there i can say for example margin bottom because we are targeting 
AdSense div and not this div down there. We're gonna say five pixels. Okay, there you go. It's kind of nice. What about the background here? So we need to say, I don't know, down there. Background will be light. I always forget T for some reason. Light blue. There you go, guys. Pretty much. Imagine that you have some kind of stuff in here. Well, the thing is that uh, you can use divs inside of divs. So now we will use general div around these divs. Can we do that? Well, sure. I'm gonna use div with, of course, class, let's say main. And now we need to encompass these things with that general div. That means that down there we need to close that div. So this div is for content div and that div is, that closing div is for this general opening div, okay? And let me save and see what's up. Nothing because I didn't use any kind of CSS here. So let's see what's up. Class, sorry, main. We are targeting main. Okay, with background color, which will be light, light uh, blue or, or light green. And let's see what's up. There you go. So the question is, can you set like width here, fix width? Well, sure. You can say, uh, right, width with uh, 800 pixels there you go and the question is how to centerize this thing well of course we're gonna use margin auto to see what's up margin auto and hopefully everything will get the job done so what about this white space around here can we fix that? Well, sure, we can create another div or we can target body. Body and the background will be light gray, let's say. And now all these white things will become light gray. See, kind of nice. I mean, Here's the thing, you can start creating websites with the basic HTML and CSS codes, like templates that other people can grab and boost if they need it. And then you can put advertising on the, that website and start making money. And the same way with Bootstrap 4, for example, which is a kind of front end framework. So you can start making money with many ideas. EH, HTML and CSS examples, Booster 4 examples, Python examples. Um, for example, you can have website that will just deal with uh, image manipulation, image positioning, stuff like that. Or even write articles about that for yourself or for other websites who will pay you. Something like that, it's just idea. So the main stuff to take from this tutorial is you can have divs inside the divs, and you can have main div and if you want to target all around those divs then you can have another div or you can just target body section and of course you can mix add, uh, ids and classes if you like but if you have multiple similar content then you will use classes and if you have individual only one section then maybe the smart idea is to use just ids Right, but you know that from a couple of last tutorials. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and uh, see you next tutorial.